I am Florence has asked this question about reacting masses. So here is a quick video I'm going to do to um, explain this for you. Um, it's not going to be very long but I'm going to go into quite a lot of detail so I can explain everything properly. So we're working out the mass of aluminium oxide that's produced when aluminium is burnt in oxygen. So the first thing I'm going to need is my word equation. So aluminium plus oxygen is aluminium oxide. Now we need to turn that into a balanced chemical equation. So aluminium on its own is just Al. Oxygen, as we find in a gas, is O2. And now we need to work out um, what the formula for aluminium oxide is. Now you can either remember this or you can try and work it out. Um, it's really, really, it's a really important skill that you that you're able to work this out for yourself. So aluminium has a three plus charge. Oxygen has a two minus charge. And overall, we want aluminium oxide to have a neutral charge. So what I'm going to do is draw aluminium like this, and I'm going to draw oxygen like this. So we've got uh, three pluses here for aluminium and we've got two minuses here for oxygen. And what we need is each of these pluses to be cancelled out by a negative charge. So you can see here we've still got a plus left over so I'm just going to draw another minus down here. And I'm going to cancel that out. Still got another um, negative so I'm just going to draw another AL three plus. So we can see that cancels that one out. Still going to keep going with this until all the pluses are cancelled out by all of the negatives. I do have a longer video explaining how to do this properly. I'll pop a link to it in the description. And we can see the formula for aluminium oxide is Al2O3 because we have two aluminiums and three oxygens here. That's how we cancel out all of the um, negative charges. So we have aluminium plus oxygen makes aluminium oxide Al2O3. Now we need to balance this equation. So the first thing I'll be looking at is the oxygens. You can see we have an even number of oxygens over this side and an odd number of oxygens over this side. I don't like having odd numbers of things when I balance equations. So the first thing I'm going to do is just try and get rid of that odd number. The best way to do this is by trial and error. So the first thing I'm going to do is just going to put a 2 in front of there. So you can see I now have 6 oxygens over this side. If I just balance this properly for you. Aluminium, oxygen aluminium oxygen at the moment i have one aluminium and two oxygens i now have four aluminiums and six oxygens so i need to get um, six oxygens over this side as well the easiest way to do that when you've got a two is just to pop a three in front of there and i need to get four aluminiums over this side the easiest way for me to do that is just to put a four in front of there so let me just shift all of that up there and write my balanced equation out nice and neatly for you. So 4 aluminiums plus 3 oxygens is going to give us 2 Al2O3. So what we need to do now is to just have a look at the numbers that we have in the question. So if I just shift that up there out of the way. We can see that we have 135 grams of aluminium, so I'm just going to pop 135 grams of aluminium there, and we need to find out the um, mass of aluminium oxide. Those are really the only two numbers we need. We don't actually need to be interested in the oxygen. So you have 135, and we have the number we're trying to work out. The next thing we need to work out is the relative masses of everything. So for this we need a periodic table and you need to look up the relative masses of things. Um, if you don't know how to do this, you don't know how to work out relative formulas, I've got another video to that, I'll pop a link down in the description as well. So the mass of um, aluminium is 27 and we have four of those. So that makes 108 in total. Um, mass of aluminium is 27 and again we have four of those, so that makes 108. Oxygen is 16 and we have 6 of those, 
that makes 96, add those together, and we get 204. Now what that tells us is, if we had 108 moles of aluminium, we would make 204 moles of aluminium oxide. Now this is the really, really important bit that we actually need to answer this question. We need these two numbers, and we need the number from the question, and we need the bit that we need to work out, and now it is just a simple ratios question. What do we have to do to this to get to this? Then we need to do exactly the same to this to get to this. So I like to think of ratios as a circle, starting from the bit that we know, going to another bit that we know, coming around in a circle to the bit that we don't know. So we need to do 135 divided by 108. That is going to give us um, 1.25. So if we want to go um, from 135 to 108, we're going to get a ratio of 1.25. We then need to times it by the same number over this size. So 204 times um, 1.25 equals 255 grams because we can't forget our units. Subscribe to my video so you don't miss anything. Check out my new website um, for videos listed by exam board and check out my blog which is going to have updates and exam advice and extra help on there. Any questions, comments or requests in the section below please.